Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to Mighty Akim and Akwaf out there who are diligently waiting to be delivered from this final, final captivity. And today's topic, I'm going to talk about, you know, um, building up, building up, and, you know, strengthening, strengthening yourself in this truth, okay? So now, one of the main things I want to give uh, an analogy, right quick, a personal analogy, and then uh, I'm gonna go bring it tied in with the script, the scriptures, okay? Now, uh, back, well, yeah, back, back, um, I guess a couple years back or whatever, uh, and sometimes here and there, still today, what I like to do, I play video games in my free time, in my spare time. And I play it competitive, competitively. So one of the things that I do is when I want to improve in said game, what I do is I go to um, to tournaments or whatever, and then I get actual like experience with like in like the actual setting. All right, the actual tournament setting where it actually matters. Okay, so. I, I, I go in there expecting to lose, but I do my best in order to, you know, try to have something to, you know, look back on and say, okay, how do I improve over here? What did I do wrong here? X, Y, and Z. All right. Now, how that ties in is this is a very good thing for us to do through the spirit in, um, in this truth, because one of the things that we we do, we can do, okay, which I, what I, which I, um, started doing it with, with, by, um, going on the highways and byways, recording myself, and, you know, putting the script, putting the videos out there on my, on the, my channel, uh, that's what I've been doing, and that's helped me to better memorize, you know, placements, okay, so me specifically, as I'm doing, you know, computer videos, or whatever, like, at home, or, and whatnot, yeah, I'm I'm able to do it and I'm I've been more consistent in doing this, but one of the things one of the downsides to it is that I can literally if I want to I can say okay, well, uh where is uh he that leads into captivity like that type of stuff. So but, but for this, but for if you go outside, you don't have that, okay? You if you if you are um just making a video here, you have the comfort of, you know, just doing a quick Google search, you know, over here. But this, that's personal, that's a personally for me because I'm using my one and only phone to record and I can't record and search uh, stuff at the same time. So I literally have to have it memorized or know it by heart, which thankfully I, at, at the, the last camp video I actually was able to do, I memorized uh a lot i actually did do very well and you know call i'm that uh i'm able to you know you know bring this out right now and be uh, a testimony to that so all you brothers that are able to you know uh you know you know a little something here and there go try and build yourself up through the spirit going out on the highways and byways okay now let's get in a few Things, okay, a few little helpers. Acts seventeen eleven. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so. So one of the things that you need to have, you need to have the readiness of mind, be prepared, want to actually go and learn the scriptures, okay. And then another, the next thing is searching the scriptures daily, as in, you know, getting into the scriptures, getting to the book every every single day. All right. And that's another thing that will help you um, familiarize yourself with the scriptures. All right. And um, for me personally, yeah, I, I'm I learned I initially I knew a couple of precepts, just the placements. But after I started after I read the script, the um, the whole Bible, start to finish, plus Apocrypha, you know, I'm, I, I now know a generalized, generalized 
understanding of what's in it. I don't know the general locations of them yet. I'm reading the scriptures, the scriptures again, um, my second time around. But um, yeah, now I'm more familiarizing myself by, you know, ex- doing more exposure to it. Because if you if you want to, you know, actually know something or be a, have it be a part of your mind, you need to constantly go be going at, going at it. All right. Now, um, Revelation chapter 1, verse 3, okay? Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of, the, of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Okay, so, uh, uh, one of the beauties, one of the beauty of, you know, preparing yourself is you're, you're going to be blessed for doing so, okay? So, like, there, there's just so much good in, you know, investing in, in the scriptures, okay, that you you would be a fool not to do so, okay? Because Matthew chapter six verse nineteen, lay up lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doeth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doeth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. So as you are bl- get, gaining more and more blessings, going back to the scriptures over and over again, you're, you know. You're amassing treasures spiritually and for your for the kingdom of heaven, all right. Which again, it says, you basically the general idea is if you have treasures in heaven, you will never lose it. But if you but if you are rich, you know, in Babylon, and you can lose all that like that, as a, as a snap of the of the fingers, all right. Now uh, Ephesians chapter two, verse eighteen. Verse or verse. Um, okay, yeah, verse 18. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Now, where therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens in with the saints and of the household of Yahweh. Okay, now let me get something right quick. Lock you a moment. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I, I just, you need to be more familiar and go out. And I'm going to try. That's, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to be more familiar with it, um, the scriptures. All right. Now. Alright, Slokia now. Matthew chapter 12, verse 46. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, my, thy brother, Slokia, behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who, is my, who, and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of the my of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. All right. So again, there. This is um, this is uh, Yahweh Shai establishing who is you know a part of you know his family, so to speak. All right. 
And, you know, this is as we're going back to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of Yahweh. So the household being us, you know, that are also a part of this truth. Verse 20, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Yahweh Mashiach himself being the chief cornerstone in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the most high in whom ye also are builded together for an habitation of Yahweh through the spirit so we want to build we want to uh, build as a family through one spirit okay we want to build up spiritually all right. We, yes, there are you know people that will uh, support black-owned businesses. You know that's that's good, but ultimately, you know, we're not going to be able to get firmly rooted or firmly established in this society because we weren't made to thrive in this society. All right. Now let me get that as well. John fifteen nineteen. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Okay, so we're not of this world. This is not. This world is not for us. Okay, so the only thing that we can do, build up spiritually, because the kingdom of heaven is our true home. The kingdom of heaven is where we want to thrive and you know be happy be merry and have everything established for us all right so that's why again keep on building up keep on going to the scriptures daily it says daily okay have that readiness of mind and to want to actually learn and invest your time in it all right but with that i hope this lesson was edifying i want to give all honor glory and praises to yahweh ba'asham yahushai ba'asham rakakwadash the will honesty the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And with that, I want to say Shalom.